Um, so for the delivery, we uh, we left Mirabel uh, Thursday morning, eight o'clock Thursday morning. Three thousand or thirty-five thousand pounds of fuel on board. Initially, we climbed straight up to three nine zero, flight number three nine zero, and uh, came across. We came across direct, no refuel. Uh, flight time was just under eight hours, and um, excuse me, just under seven hours, just under seven hours. And when we landed, we still had uh, around ten thousand pounds of fuel left. So we were very pleased um, with the fuel burn. The aeroplane, um, it was just a routine flight. I've flown uh, airliners, I flew long haul for New Zealand for 20 years. So this aeroplane, it was just like picking up a, a plane off the line and just flying here direct. It was just a routine, mundane flight. There was no issues, no problems. Everything was just routine. How much of what you experienced was predicted and how much came as a surprise? You know, to be honest, there was no surprises. There was no surprise at all. I've been involved in this program right from day one, right from it's almost a clean sheet aeroplane. So I've helped design the aeroplane, I've done a lot of flying uh, for simulators and a lot of flying on the aeroplane. There was no surprises. It was just a, a, a routine, mundane flight, it really was. Really and you, was. you the, the, obviously the range of the aeroplane with so much fuel left over was pretty amazing. It, it is amazing. Um, it was pleasing, but it wasn't a surprise. I mean, we know the fuel numbers that we have been getting and testing, and we were planning on it. Um, so it was. Uh, it's what we expected. So this, the CS100 did a non-stop. Right. The CS300 stopped. Is it, is it possible for that airplane to go non-stop as well? It is. It is, and it will do. The, the one, uh, the 300, got the same fuel tanks, the same capability as this airplane. Performance is very, very similar. So um, now the reason the 300 stopped is that it is not RVSM qualified at this time, and so being RVSM qualified allowed us to go a lot higher. So we flew across at 390, 410. Uh, they came across non-RVSM at lower altitudes, higher fuel burns. Um, the reasons behind that is this airplane's been around, you know, the 100's now got a lot of flight time experience over five, five airplanes, uh, around 1,700 hours of flight time total. Whereas um, the 300, this is the only 300 flying. And it's a, like a, a, another test flying program, so we had to, uh, we're still building time on that aeroplane and building the, uh, the system knowledge, if you like. Thank you so much. Very welcome.